welcome back to Vigor. It is your boy, Stealth Jet, leader of the JSS. If you don't know, then I'm going to tell you. Gorontan Valley is my favorite map in the entire game. It looks good. It has food. It's balanced. It's set up in the quadrants. And each quadrant has their own exit. To me, this is the most perfectly balanced map in the game. Because fighting can happen in only about two quadrants. In the lower right quadrant, where their campsite in the forest is, only one person spawns. In the upper left quadrant, well, okay, southeast, only one person spawns. In the northeast, maybe two people spawn, if not three, if you count the guy that spawns near the barn. But that's pretty much it. And on the other side, you know, the, uh, wait, that's northwest and southeast. And then you have northeast and southwest. Everybody else spawns. And that's great, right? Because it the map is, play, is pretty much split into quarters. And then you have the optional exit in the middle of the map. This map is well and truly perfectly balanced, in my opinion. Because you can find food, you can find chemicals, you can find nails, you can find whatever the fuck you want to. Just look. That's all you gotta do. And so, now that I hype this map up to no end, I'm probably gonna down it about 10,000 times. But you know, it's fine. If I go out swinging, I go out swinging. And yes, I still have on the Black Air Force One outfit. Actually, you know what? I need to give this outfit a name. We, ha we already have the knockoff Assassin's Creed outfit. By the way, thank you, Discord. And if you want to join a Discord, the link is in the description down below. I'm going to call this... Uh... Actually, I don't know. How about this? Y'all give this outfit a name in a comment section down below. Do that for me. Because I can't think of shit. So, coming up these houses. These houses usually have some good loot in there. If not, a picture, maybe. So, you know, going through here, check the dresser, find some chemicals. That's what you want to see, because chemicals are indeed S2. Grab some electronics, I get pinged. Now, why the fuck would I get pinged? Well, all I can really do now is run. That's all I can do. I know nobody spawns up here with me. All I can do is run. That's all I can do. Hopefully, I'm not being chased. That's why I'm getting pinged, huh? 2 plus 2 equals 4. They want to make sure nobody's around before they hit that container. Well, y'all just had the opposite effect. Y'all drawed me too, y'all. So you know what? I got a bugle on my hands. I'm gonna do this shit. And yes, I'm crossing the river. I don't care. They, if they are so scared to not go for the container because they're next to it, they gotta ping somebody? No, you let me know that you're there. So now I'm going after you. And I hear VSS. Now, those are stray bullets. They gotta be stray bullets. And yeah, that's why they're stray bullets. Oh, cute. Y'all trying to um, not give away y'all position so much. Well, too late. I'm already here. I'm already here. Oh, look. Is that a person? Okay. Dead. Alright, now. Keep going. Your beloved default skinned looter has died to one shot from a bugle. Not a triple tap, but a shot. And no, I'm not going to hit the comm station because then that tells them exactly where I'm at. I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to reload my weapon, put a joint back on triple tap, and now, relocate. Relocate. At this point, I'm listening more than I'm looking. And I'm doing that as they're right there, okay, bet, okay, I know that. Because I'm always going to be behind cover. At this point, my ears are my eyes. At this point, but at the same time too, I like distance. I like to spot from a distance and then close in. I don't like hearing them close and not seeing them. Because if I crest a ridge line and they're then they just so happen to be looking in my direction, I'm dead. So we know they're over there. Now it's just a matter of running around 
What? A random bullet from a VSS? Confused? Are they trying to shoot off the top block of the container? Well, no. Because it's already open. I shot a guy in there. Why is he shooting? Does he think I'm in a bush? I mean, good estimated guess, but... I'm not there, partner. We're going to this house real quick. Look at the map. Okay. Yeah, that... That's a glitch. That, uh, car... No. Car alarm? Did a car alarm even go off? But, yeah. Something is, uh, wrong with the map. And you see it's not on the compass, so... There's that. Now, I wonder if it's just for me or for everybody in the game. I don't know. So, now that some time has passed, I'm gonna hit the comm station. And that sounds like an AKM. That... That's what that sounds like. Now, considering the fact of how I don't hear any gunshots back. Not until now. That's a VSS. And then a grenade. So I don't want to approach them on their side of the town. Because it's fierce, right? I want to sit back and watch them. And wait until their guard drops. And then that's when I move in. So... Gotta take it slow. Gotta take it careful. I want to spot them from a distance. I don't want to spot them up close and personal. So I'm going to enter into this house right here. Close the door. The great thing about houses is that you can be in them and they won't know you're in them until they walk and then you come outside and you shoot them. That's the plan. So I'm walking in this house. Then I hear a combination lockbox be opened. Okay, bet. And they're right there. Notice how he hid behind that wall. He could have looked through this window and saw me. Now they're in that house. And I'm thinking about pulling off a headshot through this window right here. But then he moves. It's two of them. It's two of them. Now I'm thinking, are they going to come into this house? Let me go ahead and get in position. Boot the glass real quick. Okay, wait a minute. That's a red door. I don't want to go through that way. Ladder. You know the risk when you go up that ladder on this on this map. You know the risk. They forgot about me. But I did not forget about them. Close the window. Now, I see you up there. I see you up there. But now it's a matter of getting away undetected. And you see, that was real cute, right? It was, but it didn't work out. Now, I'm trying to listen. The, the detector cell is still active, right? So, run. Get spotted, right? Enter to the house, cool down. Now, I don't mind being spotted, right? I don't mind it, but at the same time, too... I don't want them to see where I ran away to. Let me explain what I mean by that. If I'm getting shot at, and I run to the right, and they see me run to the right, that's what I don't want. I want them to see me run to the left. They chase me to the left, but then I'm to the right of them the entire time. Do you, you, you understand what I'm saying? I don't want them to see my exit direction. Now, I get the idea. That roof? Is hella exposed. Hella exposed. He's not going to come on this side of the roof. But then I see him. And that's all I need to know. So I turned this way. And he's seen me turn this way. Now at this point. All I got to do. Is wait for him to make a mistake. And in his eyes. A mistake is him just walking around. I said that wrong. In his eyes, just walking around is not a mistake. It's not a mistake. But for me, watching him do it, yeah, it's a mistake on his part. And so, glass, chemicals, fuel, food, all that good stuff. Now we're straight. Now remember when I said, you know the risk when you climb this ladder. Well, here's the thing. Oh look, a VSS. You don't need 
that many rounds in a VSS to be competitive, bro. What the fuck? Anyways. Now. I know I said you know the risk when you climb this ladder. I know. But if I can kill them going up the ladder and nobody shot at me while I was killing them, then that must mean it's okay. So right now, I'm trying to confirm where everybody's at. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use the detector. Let's pray I don't get shot going up this damn ladder. Put on the turbo mode. And we're up here now. Okay. Alright, just kind of make myself a hard target for a minute. A hard target for a minute. No use the detector. Keep moving. Keep moving. Alright, bet. Get the hell off the roof. Get the hell off the roof. I'm trying to jump and land on that shed. Doesn't work out. It's cool. Take fall damage. It's whatever. Check the map. Look at damn Twiddle D and Twiddle Dome guarding that exit. What the fuck? Y'all do know that there are like three, if not four, yeah, four other exits I can take. And I say three because I don't count that letter exit. I don't count it unless I'm not carrying an airdrop. So now that I know this entire town is mine, I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want to do. So I'm running right now. And yes, I plan to escape. But like I'm going to say in the future, well, yeah, past video, really. In these old style PlayStation 2 games, they give you one objective. But you gotta cross like five or six different hoops to complete set objective. Right now, yes, I, I seen that trash can. I was like, you know what? Fuck that trash can. I'm going to go to this barred house. That's right. The barred house has not been opened yet. But I'm gonna crack that thing open like a very solid, very solid egg. And now we wait, wait. Now here's the thing. I am not comfortable. Now I'm not. Some time has passed since I used that detector. Now I give away my position one more time. I'm not comfortable. I'm not complacent. Not yet. Until I see those two guys, I'm not comfortable. I need to know where they're at. I need to know if they're coming down here. Now what I'm going to do is set up visually along this road. Because look, we seen them both, or we detected them both, at that, at that exit. And then again, they couldn't be real outliners, they could be transmitters. We don't know. So I'm watching, right? And then the timer goes off. And... It's kind of like when your mom bakes fresh cookies, and then you hear the ding on the oven. Tell me why that this safe has opened now that I'm ca now that I came in here and the timer went off. You see what I just said was I want cookies. Now grab the L85. I deserve it. Delete the VSS ammunition. I don't need that much ammunition. I don't. Now grab disinfectant and now we're out of here. Put the L85 on my back. Run out this damn barn. And we're going to go home. So I looted a bit more stuff before coming back to this exit. And yes, I decided to cross the river just in case. But um, you did not miss anything important. You didn't. And notice that the map is covered in radiation and yet that airdrop is still there. So they were waiting at that exit the entire time to try to kill anybody with said airdrop. Yeah, I know. I was not going to fall for that. And so... Guys, I don't know what it is, but as of the time of this recording, even though I'm a lone wolf, I cannot recall the last fucking time I ran into a full-on solo lobby. Now, it's been close. It's been like five solos and then, yeah, five solos and then like one duo. It's been close, but like a whole full-on solo lobby. Yeah, no, I don't like that. Devs, hey yo, what what's going on? Do I need to uninstall Vigor and then install it, install it again? Because, bruh, I like 
I like third partying. I like free for all. I don't want to kill one person in a, in a team and then worry about the two other demons that have been awoken and trying to come and kill me. Yeah, I know. I like the uh. But then again, then again, there may be a reason as to why I'm experiencing this. There may be. So you know what? I'm gonna try to embrace this kind of playstyle. Because hey, if I survive, it is fun. You know, it is fun. So we'll see. I'll catch y'all in the next episode. Until next time, peace.